Hi, today we're going to talk about how to roast a turkey. We're going to follow proper technique to ensure that you end up with a beautifully roasted turkey, full of flavor and very presentable for your table. First, what we have here is basically about a 15 pound turkey. And to ensure, I know a lot of the um, Intimidation comes uh, with the fact that when you roast your turkey, you end up with a dry product. Today, uh, to ensure that we end up with a very beautiful moist turkey, what we're going to do is we're going to brine the turkey. This is a 15 pound turkey, so um, it's sort of medium size. And what we're going to do is I have here very cold water, and I'm going to flavor the water with um, salt, and with sugar. For about two gallons of water, I have used um, a cup of sugar, a, a cup of salt, and half a cup of sugar. And what I'm going to do is to dissolve the sugar and the salt in the water. Now, um, you can add any flavoring that you want to infuse your turkey with, perhaps crushed garlic and rosemary, sage and nutmeg, any flavor, onions, um, carrots, celery. I'm going to keep the brine basically very simple today because we're going to baste with a beautiful clarified butter that's been infused with lots and lots of flavor. Make sure that you end up, um, you have room first of all in your fridge to uh, have a large container or a pot as you see here. Um, that was going to hold all of the turkey completely submerged um, in this brine. And it's a good idea for a turkey this size that it brines for at least eight hours um, to ensure that lots of water gets in the flesh of the turkey, seasons it, and flavors it. What's happening right now, why we're brining is um, the water actually gets between the fibers of the meat and sort of um, gets in between and allows hot air as we're roasting um, to roast the turkey better as well as release moisture so it continually bastes from the inside out. Now what we need to do with this, of course, is take it and put it under refrigeration, which we're going to do. Hi, um, now that our turkey has had a chance to basically brine for a generous eight hours, what we're going to do is get it ready for the oven to begin roasting. I have preheated the oven to um, 425 degrees to start off with. We're going to start roasting at a higher temperature and about half an hour after we put the turkey in, we're going to lower the temperature to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and continue the roasting at 325 to ensure um, a slow roast for, again, added moisture um, in our bird and um, as well as ensure that we have a beautiful crust on the outside. Um, what you see here is actually a piece of cheesecloth and this piece of cheesecloth um, we're going to bard with it. It's a technique of uh, this is the the breast of the turkey because the meat is so lean it doesn't have a lot of fat at all um, is going to require a little bit of protection uh, because we're baking it um, along with roasting it along with of course, the leg's attached. The leg has a lot more, uh, basically, um, uh, moisture in it, a lot more connective tissue. So as this roasts at a slower temperature, the connective tissue breaks down and will continue to keep this meat moist, um, this part of uh, the bird. Meanwhile, this one does not have a lot of connective tissue and um, will basically dry out. So to protect this part of the bird, we're going to cover it with a cheesecloth and actually, yes, bake it with the cheesecloth on. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, because the turkey has been brined, it has, it's already seasoned. The meat is well seasoned. We're not going to need to season 
with salt and pepper on the surface. What I have here is clarified butter, which is basically whole butter that is cooked over very low temperatures, and we continually skim the foam that rises to the surface, and then we strain it. We strain it from all the milk solids that have fallen to the bottom, so we end up with a beautiful um, butter uh, that has um, zero moisture in it. Uh, by clarifying, we're actually taking out any little bits of moisture that are left in the butter. And we raise the smoke point here, um, which is very important when we're roasting for a long period of time. Now, I want to flavor this um, clarified butter so that I'm able to uh, flavor my turkey. I'm going to add some sage leaves very traditional flavorings for the turkey. Some leeks, a couple of bay leaves, and the zest, a little piece of zest from a lemon. And to this, I'm going to add a pinch of nutmeg for flavoring. A little bit of white pepper. And what we normally do here is we introduce this to heat to about just to infuse the clarified butter with the beautiful flavor of the leeks and the herbs and the lemon zest. So after that, the, the basically the ingredients have softened a little bit. This butter is now ready to use to baste our turkey. What I'm going to do is take the cheesecloth and soak it in this flavored butter allow it to absorb all of the flavors that are here. While that's sitting there and absorbing the flavor, what I have here is some aromatics, what we call mirepoix, and this mirepoix is going to use to be stuffed inside the turkey cavity um, to again infuse the bird from flavor from the inside out. And what I have done here is I've taken some celery, some leeks, some carrots, and uh, some lemons, and of course, bay leaf and um, sage. And I've softened the vegetables a little bit. And the reason why I've done that is just to begin the cooking process so that they are releasing their flavor quickly uh, right from the beginning. After these have been just cooked very, very briefly in a little bit of oil, they have been cooled. Because when I stuff them inside the turkey, I want them to be cool rather than hot. I'm going to take my cheesecloth that has been soaking in the clarified butter and the flavorings. Cover the breast meat area with it to protect during cooking and also to contribute to a beautiful golden color and crispy skin on the bird. Now I'm going to use the rest of the butter to baste the turkey. And the remaining butter in here will be used throughout the roasting time to flavor the turkey and again to work on the beautiful crispy skin on the outside. Now, um, how we check for doneness on this turkey is we use a probe thermometer. And a thermometer is more accurate than calculating basically in minutes 
with regards to how many pounds we have and the length of time that the turkey should be roasted, um, what we do is we want to ensure that to, to cook the meat properly, uh, we want to ensure that it roasts to 180 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, internal temperature. And in order to determine that properly, we need a thermometer to do that. And the best place it, um, to use to check for temperature is not the breast meat, it's actually the leg, the inside of the leg. We insert the thermometer. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to puncture the skin and lose moisture. Um, in basically the thickest part of the leg, not touching any bone, will give you an accurate reading. We want to pull the bird out of the oven when it's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, because we want it to rust after it roasts. Uh, we tint it with foil, not very tightly, because we want a little bit of the steam to escape so it does not, um, uh, it keeps the skin nice and crispy, otherwise it will turn soft. And what will happen during this time as it's rusting, um, it will carry over cook to cook to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit and redistribute the moisture that's right in a at the surface now, right underneath the skin, it will be absorbed back into the fibers of the meat to ensure that the turkey is juicy throughout the entire bird. So this bird is ready for the oven now. For the first half an hour, it's going to cook at 425 degrees. After about half an hour, we're going to turn the temperature down to 325 degrees and allow it to continue to cook. A bird this size will roughly take about three hours, again to an internal temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we have it, the beautifully roasted turkey, following the methods that were outlined, the brining, and then flavoring with a um, um, basting with a beautiful flavored clarified butter, barding with a piece of cheesecloth, and the final product is evenly browned, beautiful crispy skin on the outside, beautiful and moist on the inside. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.